to maximize your Chrome browser experience. Coming up, I'll show you 20 keyboard shortcuts that can be used with Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS to increase your workflow and productivity. Most of which can also be used with other Chromium-based browsers like Vivaldi, Brave, Microsoft Edge, and Opera. Let's get started. We'll begin with the absolute basics first. To open a new tab, instead of dragging your cursor all the way to the top and clicking on the plus, do this instead. To open a brand new tab, hold down Ctrl and T at the same time. If you're on a Mac, there is no Ctrl key. For most of these, you'll need to use the Command key in place of Ctrl. So for Mac OS, hold down Command and T to open a new tab. On the flip side, to close any active tab, Instead of clicking the tiny X on the right side of the tab, hold down Ctrl and W instead. On Mac to do this, hold down the Command and W key. If you're someone that tends to keep a bunch of tabs open at the same time, instead of using your mouse to check each open tab, use Ctrl and the Tab key to move to the next tab in order from left to right. On Mac, hold down the Command and Option keys along with the right arrow to cycle to the next tab. To go in reverse order from right to left, Hold down Control, Shift, and Tab. On Mac, hold down the Command and Option keys plus the left arrow to move to the left. I'll now show you how to quickly open your Chrome homepage without opening a new tab. For Windows and Linux, hold down the Alt and Home buttons. On Mac, you would press Command, Shift, and H. At this time, there's no shortcut to do this that we know of on Chromebooks Chrome OS. Earlier, I showed you how to close an active tab by either using Control w or Command plus W. Now I'll show you how to reopen any tab you might have accidentally closed. On your keyboard, hold down Control shift and t to bring back your most recently closed tab. On Mac, that would be Command, shift and t If you have decided that you're done surfing the net, to close out the window, you could click on the X in the upper right, or to give your mouse a break, press Ctrl plus Shift and W. On Mac, the shortcut is Command, Shift, and W. And that will close out the entire window. Instead of dragging the cursor all the way to the Omnibox to do a search or enter our URL, do this instead. Use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus L to instantly go to the Omnibox. On Mac, hold down Command and L. Here you can do a search or enter an address without ever touching your mouse. If you ever find the content on any web page to be too small or too large, you could go to the menu in the upper right, go down to zoom, and click the plus to make the text larger. Or if you find the text too large, click the minus to make it smaller. An easier way to zoom in and out is to hold down control and the plus key to zoom into the page to make the text bigger. And to reduce the size of the content, press control and the minus key. On Mac, you'll use command and the plus key to zoom in and minus key to zoom out. If you ever find that a web page did not load properly, doing a refresh of that page most of the time will fix the issue by clicking on the reload icon to the left of the Omnibox. The shortcut to do this without using your mouse is Control plus R or Command plus R on Mac. Sometimes the cache in the browser is the cause of the problem. To load the web page directly from the web server without the cached content, press Ctrl, Shift, and R. This is known as a hard refresh. On Mac, hold down Command, Shift, and R keys to do a hard refresh of the page. One of the most useful keyboard shortcuts is the ability to search within a web page to find a keyword or keywords. To do this, hold down Ctrl and F or the Command and F key on Mac. Now type your keyword. Hitting the Enter key on your keyboard will jump to each instance of that keyword on the page. If you ever need to save the current web page to your computer, hold down Control and S. On Mac, that would be Command and S, then hit Enter on your keyboard to save it. To print out the current web page, that's quite simple as well, press Control and P. On Mac, Command and P. You could hit the Enter key to print immediately, or to make any changes, use the Tab key to highlight the various settings. Use the Enter key to open any drop-down menus, and use the up or down arrow keys to navigate. 
let's quickly go through a few of the shortcuts regarding bookmarks. If you have your bookmark bar disabled while on a website, opening a new tab will display your bookmarks at the top below the Omnibox. Let's close this page out by hitting Ctrl and W. To show your bookmarks on the current tab, hold down Ctrl, Shift, and B. On Mac, press the Command, Shift, and B keys. To hide your shortcuts again, use the same keyboard shortcut and they'll disappear. To bring up the Bookmarks Manager on Chrome to create or delete bookmarks and bookmark folders, hold down Control, Shift, and O. On Mac to open it, press Command, Shift, and O. This will open up in a new tab. Some of the other Chromium-based browsers open the Bookmarks Manager differently. For example, with the new Chromium-based Microsoft Edge, that same keyboard shortcut, Control, Shift, O, or Command, Shift, O, opens the Bookmarks Manager in the same tab, which I personally think is better. To create a bookmark of the current web page, instead of dragging your cursor to the right of the Omnibar and clicking on the star to bookmark it, do this instead. Hold down Control and D to bookmark it. On Mac, that would be Command and D. Here you can edit the name of the bookmark and choose the folder. If you want to use the not as private as many people think it is, incognito mode, hold down the Control, Shift, and N keys. That would be Command, Shift, and N on a Mac. A reminder to those of you that visit shady websites, incognito mode is not completely private. It's best used in situations where you share a computer with your family or others to hide your browsing history and data entered in forms. To go back to the normal mode, hold Control, Shift, and W. On Mac, Command, Shift, and W. In addition, if you share a computer at home or work, or use a computer at a public location like a library, to ensure your privacy, it's best to clear the browsing data. To do this, hold down Control, Shift, and Delete. On Mac, press Command, Shift, and Delete. To be on the safe side, set the time range to all time and check all the options you're concerned about regarding your privacy. To open the settings page for Chrome for all except Mac, there is no direct shortcut that will take you to the settings. But here's a workaround. Hold down the keys, Alt and E. When the menu opens, press S, on Macs, you can completely bypass the menu by pressing the Command and Comma key. If you use multiple profiles in Chrome for home or work, or use a different profile for each of your personalities, hold down Control, Shift, and M. On Mac, that would be Command, Shift, and M. Use your arrow keys to navigate to your other profiles, and hit the Enter key to select the profile you want to use. To quickly open the Downloads page to see what files you've downloaded while using Chrome, press the Control and J keys. On macOS, you have to press an extra key, so hold down Command, Shift, and J. This might be easier for some of you than going through your folders on your drives to find your files. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. What keyboard shortcuts do you use with Chrome that you think would be helpful to others? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss out on our latest tutorials and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Umbo.